In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the freeze transform feature in Cinema, which simplifies object manipulation and animation by allowing you to reset the object's position or rotation or axis uh, and still deal with zero values. So what on earth does that mean? So here we are in a really typical, simple startup scene with just a cube at the world center. And we can see this by when we click on the cube, the, the, the center of that cube is the center of the cube obviously is where the axis is uh, and then here as well we are at the world center right so if we move this cube away we can see it going to minus 850 centimeters and if we move it back to zero it goes to zero right but if we had a complex scene where this cube was actually over here we're dealing with values that are actually way more complex than zero, right? And so we're not dealing with zero sum values. What freeze transform allows you to do is to just move those complex values to somewhere where you don't have to think about them for a little bit, do something like, oh, I wanna move it 100, and then go, okay, let's move those ba values back and add them to whatever position I've just moved there. So that's unfreezing. So now we've got the position that we moved 100 away from wherever it was before, plus the old values. And now we're not, we don't have to think about that. Again, if you want to freeze again, you can then add another 100. And it, so it's, a, it's an iterative process. Freeze transform is kind of like a, a, you can think of it as like a bin where you drop the complex values you don't want to think about, deal with simple values. And then when you want to bring those values back in, you can put them in the transform here. So let's start from the beginning and I'll go over that a bit more slowly uh, if some of that went over your head. So we're going to go to the world center and I'm going to create a cube. And what we're going to try and do here is we're going to move the axis to the, one of these top corners and then we're going to rotate. Uh, but we want the rotation to have zero values here. Now this is a really contrived, simple example. We're dealing with a cube just so that you can understand things from first principles. But maybe you might be dealing with like a phone or a phone screen or a complex device where you're trying to move the, the axis of that device or that part to a specific place and you want to be dealing with zero sum values. Just kind of imagine your scenario but in this example we're going to be sticking with a really simple uh, cube so that you can get it. So um, what I want to do is I want to enable axis modification right so let's go to object um, uh, model mode and uh, enable axis modification. Um, now if you have a parametric object uh, this is a newbie mistake that I've made many times. Um, you start moving the object itself, right? You're not moving the axis. And that's because it's, uh, I probably can't explain it that well, but it's, I'd imagine it's to do with the math and the algorithms which maintain this, this cube, right? Uh, relative to its center. So what you have to do is you have to make it into a, an editable object by pressing C. So now we have an editable, ob editable object and we have enable axis uh, modification done and we can move this axis around and move it outside of the object or wherever we want. Now I don't want to do it in this view, I want to do it in uh, whatever this view is called, isometric or something like that. Um, and I'm going to hold, I'm going to click on this top view here and I'm going to hold shift and you see when I hold shift it snaps to five increments of five. Uh, it might be different for you. Hot click and then shift and we can see that we're now moving to that top corner and then we're on the front view which is looking from there I guess uh, I'm going to do the same thing to move it to the top right and let, now let's go back to this view so now we've got this now one of the things that's a bit confusing sometimes and I don't know whether this is a bug or whether I'm doing something you can let me know in the comments if I click uh, if I click out of this or if I um, uh, get away from this and then click into this sometimes okay it's worked this time but sometimes the axis looks like it's gone back to the center here uh, and all you have to do is maybe just try turning this on and off again and clicking on here I'm sure I'm missing something here guys so please let me know but uh, just bear in mind don't worry if that happens the way I got rid of it was I just clicked out of the item and clicked back on and made sure that I turned off axis modification great so the problem is now that we've got these funny values in here right that we want to think of this cube as at zero because or whatever object we're thinking about we want this to be zero in the way that we're thinking about this object, right? Uh, we don't want it to have these numbers here. So all we need to do is hit freeze transform. We're gonna hit freeze all. And again, I don't have a scenario specifically for this right now, but you can imagine scenarios where you would only want to freeze position. And basically for us, that does exactly the same thing because we haven't got any, any values in here. Um, so now what we've done is we've moved those, let's call them awkward values to somewhere where we don't have to think about them. And then we can do something like uh, rotate it right uh, or position it or 
scale it and things like that. And now what we can do is you can see that the scaling's from here, the rotation is from here, and the position is from there as well, right? So let's say we've got our object to how we want it. <laughs> Doesn't this look beautiful? Um, we now have all of these uh, values. Well, actually we didn't freeze. Oh, okay, yeah, but there was nothing to freeze there. So now we can unfreeze all and we'll have all of those, let's call them awkward values back, but added to whatever we had. And again, let's say we get to this point now and we're like, right, okay, I wanna think of this position as zero. All we need to do is freeze all and all of those values go to there. And then we can go, okay, I wanna scale, I wanna do this and this and this, and then you just add all of the values that you had before to this, and you're dealing with zero sum values. So that's one of the, the primary ways that you would use freeze transform.